this video, we're going to talk about and rate Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush episode 33. <laughs> yeah, I know the Yu-Gi-Oh! players are waiting for this one. So, keep on watching. When it comes to um, tournament arcs, there's no no fran no franchise is better at it than Yu-Gi-Oh! Right? And this episode will yeah, I can't show you why, but hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys, all right? First order of business, the thumbnail. It's obvious thumbnail material. Why? Because, well, the noob is right now the big bad of this anime, who has a striking resemblance to one of the lead characters of Sevens. Hey, right? that's, that's the disturbing part right there. This was the scene wherein Yunya's through that burning question at the loop regarding uh, uh, regarding the manga he and Yui have been reading for uh, for quite some time now. Baka, um, baka hindi alternate storyline ito, baka uh, Goros is slowly becoming part of the uh, part of the main continuity of Sevens with this one. Kaya, pinili ko talk nila ito. Kasi, Marami pang mara, mahiwagang character itong si The Loop. Bukod pa sa pangingin kamukha niya, si Loop ng Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. So many questions that need to be answered. And, well, this thumbnail will probably um, make you feel that way. But out of the way, guys, let's get to the nitty-gritty of the episode. Pace! As usual, may dual scene, mabilis ang pacing. Oh, what? Hindi ko hindi mabilis. Tense ang pacing because especially uh especially if uh, if a lead character is down in the duel. I don't know. I, I don't know what's uh or what's up with the rush duel format that makes the pacing of every uh of every Yu-Gi-Oh episode since Sevens more intense. Kasi nga what? It's true to its name, rush duel. So. Wow. Kahit na strip down format ng OCG ito, it's just as exciting. Do I have complaints, guys? Absolutely not. Okay? Talagang, talagang dual scene yung napanood ko. And of course, the resulting consequence, ah, uh, you would be sorry for, for this dinosaur. Go naman! Well, first gear shift here was when Yuna... Uh, decided to 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 make uh, to make a card that can that can counter the Luke's uh, play style, uh, the Luke's dueling style. No brainer of a gear shift there, folks. Because here's a character that is uh, that is yeah, flat out obnoxious, um, too self-serving for anyone's good. Making the decision, uh, make, reasserting herself right here. Kasi, yung kanyang, I, yung kanyang senpai na si Robyag eh, natalo sa The Loom. It's also the gearship that will tell you na, that, whoa, every uh, lead character here is slowly coming together just to beat this guy. Second gearship was when Manya used her equipped spell to win the duel. To some of you, that may not be a gearship, but for me, it is. Bakit? It's another gearship that will tell you that, well, the Rust Duel format is slowly, is, uh, is slowly evolving right here. Kasi, almost every major character in this, uh, uh, in this particular Yu-Gi-Oh! series now has an equipped spell. This goes to show you, through this gearship, how basic the Rust Duel format is. Kasi kung sa OCG, bali wala equip spell. <laughs> Final gear shift was when Yudias burned that question to, uh, threw that burning question to uh, to the loop. Again, no brainer. It totally set us up for the next episode. Okay? Yun lang ang masasabi ko doon. Is this the first step in deconstructing this guy's personality? 60% sure ako. That's why I call it the gearship, guys. Right? This may this may open the door to um to who the loop really is. 
Love Ice. There are a few quick explainer sequences and of course the dual scene. And Daniel, in Yu-Gi-Oh! when there's a dual scene. Planchado ang plot, guys. You couldn't say it's a it's a clean plot. Because for us Yu-Gi-Oh! fans, we have this sort of conspiracy theory that every dual scene has its own script. Itong, itong, theory, itong accepted theory namin. Kasi, masyadong intricate yung mga yung fake card placements, activations. Hello? You need a separate script for that. Kasi kung, kung ipa-follow through ninyo ang main script through that, uh, through that, uh, into that dual scene, wala eh. Baka, ma, baka mabukya pa eh. Baka mabukya pa sa attention sa, sa viewer. Planchado ang plot ng episode na to. Okay? Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. Talagang, wow. Right? Kung baka, Pinakita na ng Yu-Gi-Oh! series na ito kung ano ang version nila ng Shadow Game. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush Episode 33! Deserve. Two thumbs up! Gotta tell you guys, nakakaawain uh, ko na yung dinosaur eh, no? <laughs> And to think na uh, alipore siya ni Galoob. Pero... Uh, he lost, so he was the one who got encased in ice. Makes you, makes you sympathize with the guy. Because um, he's on the wrong side of the storyline, but yeah, the, the, big, the big guy has a pure heart. Because he instantly connected with you here. One of the, one of the, one of the three main protagonists. So uh, you, you would, you would feel sorry for this, uh, for, for this guy. Well, that's how that's how Yu-Gi-Oh affects people, right? No violence necessary to um to point out to point out who's good and who's bad. Just do a little way. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh Goras episode thirty-three. Two thousand.